Hello children, today we are going to start with our new chapter that is angles, chapter 12, angles. But before starting this chapter, first of all few terms should be cleared to you. First term is angles. What is an angle? A shape formed by two rays diverging from a common point. It is called an angle. Now, here is a point B. From this point, two rays are diverging and the shape formed over here, that will be known as the angle. A point B, from where the two rays are diverging, this point B is known as the vertex. And these two rays, that is AB and BC, are known as the arms. So, you should be clear with vertex, angle and arms. What are these? Next is interior of the angle. Very much clear. Interior means inside of the angle. This one part which is shaded. And next is exterior of the angle. Exterior means the outer part of the angle. This is known as the exterior of the angle. Next page. Now, angle is always measured in degrees. But sometimes we will... Uh, see that there they have written minutes also or seconds also. So the conversion is very important. That is 1 degree is equals to 60 minutes. Again I am repeating 1 degree is equals to 60 minutes and 1 minute is equals to 60 seconds. Again 1 minute is equals to 60 seconds. So this should be clear to you that 1 degree is equal to 60 minutes and 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds. Next is types of angle. So first type is acute angle. Acute angle is an angle whose measure is less than 90 degree. Angles which are less than 90 like 70 degree, 80 degree, 85 degree, 0 degree or we can say not 0, 1 degree, 2 degree all are known as the acute angles. Next is right angle. The angle whose measure is exactly 90 degree. The angle which we can measure and will get 90 degree that is known as the right angle. Third is obtuse angle. Obtuse angle is an angle whose measure is greater than 90 degree. An angle whose measure is greater than 90 like 95 degree angle, 100 degree angle like this. All these angles are known as obtuse angle. Next is straight angle. Straight angle is an angle whose measure is exactly 180 degree. If we will add angle or we will add two angles, we will get 180, then it is known as the straight angle. Or if any angle is equal to 180, then it is known as the straight angle. A reflex angle. An angle whose measure is more than 180 but less than 360. More than 180 but less than 360 like 240, 330, 280. These are more than 180 but these are less than 360. So these are known as the reflex angle. Next is complete angle. The angle whose measure is 360. Then only it is known as the complete angle. So whose measure is 360? It is known as the complete angle. Last one, zero angle. The angle whose measure is zero degree, it is known as the zero angle. If any angle we will get, its measure is zero degree, then it is known as the zero angle. Next is, very important topic, adjacent angles. What are adjacent angles? Adjacent angles, the uh, two angles are adjacent if they have a common arm and a common vertex. Now, if I will see these two sides or these two angles, they are having the common vertex, vertex B and common arm, arm BC. So, these two angles, angle 1 and angle 2 are known as the adjacent angles. Next is vertically opposite angle. If there are opposite angles, this one and this one. Let me take it as 1 and 2. They are opposite to each other. So, they are known as vertically opposite angle. Angle 3 and angle 4. They are opposite to each other. Therefore, they are known as the vertically opposite angle. Next is linear pair of angles. It is two adjacent angles are set to form linear pair if the sum of both angles is 180. Now, here I will see if I will add this and this angle 1 and 2 angle I will add and I will get 180 then it is known as the linear pair and linear pair is always on the straight line. 
Next, we are going to start with our exercise. This you can do in your book only. These three questions only you can do in your book. Rest you have to do in your notebook. First is, for each angle given below, write the name of its vertices, arms and angles. Now, in the first part, two rays are meeting over zero. Sorry, not O. Two rays are meeting over O. So, vertices is O. Which are the two arms? O, A and O, B are two arms. And which is the angle? This is the angle. A, O, B is the angle. Second part, where two arms are meeting each other, that is point O, this is the vertices. Arms are O, X and O, Y and angle is X, O, Y. Last part, O is the vertices. Arms are O, P and O, Q and angle is P, O and Q. Next, in the adjoining figure, name the points in the interior of angle A, O, B. Now, this is angle A, O, B. Interior means inside. So, which, which points are inside this? Point R, P, Q and T. These are inside, interior. Exterior of A, O, B, outside. Point V, U, S and W. So, U, V, S, W I have written on the A, O, B. Now, on the angle A, O, B. Which points are there? A, Y, O, X, Z and B are the points. Third question we will do in notebook. And now fourth question. From the adjoining figure, name three pairs of adjacent angles. Pairs we have to tell. So, P, O, C and P, O, A. These two are the adjacent angles because they have one common arm which is O, P. Next is Q, O, A and P, O, A. So, Q, O, A and P, O, A. Again, they have the common arm O, A. Q, O, C and Q, O, A. This one and this one. These, uh, these two again are the adjacent angles. Two acute angles. Acute angles means less than 90 degree. So, P, O, A and Q, O, A are the two acute angles. Or you can also write A, O, Q. Two obtuse angles, P, O, C and Q, O, C. These are the two obtuse angles. Two linear pair, it is P, O, C and P, O, A. One pair is this of linear pair. Next is Q, O, C and Q, O, A. Now children, rest questions we will do in the next video. And that questions you have to do in your notebook also. Thank you children.